Hello, how are you doing? I hope you are all feeling wonderful. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can create a working clock like this one. It's showing the actual time just like a real clock. Stick around, we are going to see how we can make this. Welcome to Kitty Code Ninja Tutorial. This is Ellie and this is your place to learn to code and have fun. All right, let's see what do we need to make this. We need three things. A backdrop for this yellow part. And then we need a sprite for this little lines. And then another sprite for the handles that show the second hour and the minute. Let's see how. I encourage you to follow along with me. So log into your account and then click on this create after the project was loaded. Delete the cat. Go to the backdrop and search for something that looks similar to the clock. I'm like the clock face. So I'm going to take this light for my backdrop and then from the sprites for the degree for those little lines like these lines, I'm going to take the button sprite and then for the handles, I need one sprite with three costumes so i go for search i can draw it in paint but it's much faster if i can find something similar to a clock handle which here we go it's this line so let's adjust the size i'm gonna make this much smaller because this is this little things here and then this is gonna be used for second so going let's make this size like 20 it does need to be still much smaller so i go to the costume and then i drag it from here so that it can be used for the second. Duplicate it one more time, make it a little smaller and a little wider to show the minutes. Let's also change the color to make it, let's say, gray. So this is going to be for a minute. You can play with the and then so this is minute. Let's change the name here also to minute and second. Let's duplicate this again, make it a little bit shorter again so that it's going to be shorter and wider to show the handle for the hour. A little bit shorter. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to show you something really cool. In order to do that, in order to draw the clock completely, first thing you need to do is go to here and uh, add the pen extension so that you can access these codes. And then also make sure to be on the button sprite. So for this lines, I'm going to name this uh, just I'm going to name it degrees to refer to those little lines on the clock. And then let's say 
when start clicked go to the center of the screen and then I'm gonna erase everything so from the pen there is a code erase all after we got a clear um, screen after erasing everything I'm gonna write a code to create this blue lines that are sh that are showing the hours so like here is 12 o'clock one o'clock two three so this is what I'm gonna draw on my clock I'm gonna use stamp so I have this sprite I'm gonna rotate and stamp rotate and stamp rotate and stamp rotate and stamp so since we have 12 hours on the clock I'm gonna repeat 12 times rotate stamp rotate stamp rotate stamp and then in order to know how many degrees I need to rotate from here to here I should divide 360 by 12 which is gonna be 30 every rotation degrees so let's write the code since we said we have 12 hours I'm going to control repeat 12 times and then turn so from the motion so I'm writing a code for this blue thing uh, so turn from motion 30 degrees because 360 divided by 12 30 degrees so remember this thing is right now in the center so it's turning 30 degrees only like this and then now it needs to move all the way to the end of the clock so I say move or yeah move 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 maybe 100 steps and now stamp so the same pattern is gonna be stamped here and now I want it to go back to where it was so it's putting a stamp of itself and then it's going back now move again minus 100 steps so this action is going to be repeated 12 times so I expect to see 12 blue lines around this to refer to ours let's run it like this super cool now I want it to go a bit closer to the edge so instead of 100 maybe 120 and 120 here as well let's run it again it looks much better pretty cool isn't it so one little problem is that this orange ones are covering the blue ones so I'm going to the costume and making this blue ones a little bigger make sure to click on this arrow and drag it to make it longer than the other one as long as it fits let's try again it's better now something really important that you can do when you program is like when you see that this code is gonna be very long use blocks so I'm gonna create a block from my block make a block and then I'm gonna name it draw clock I'm also gonna check 
run without screen refresh so okay with this block I'm defining drawing the clock so all I need to do is drag draw a clock so this little code is much easier to read and also I can always drag this to my backpack and be able to reuse it in other programs and always just call draw clock okay so this part so far was drawing the clock but we also now need to show the actual time so that our clock is functional let's see how for showing the time using this clock handles i'm gonna use the clone if you're not familiar with the clone i have another video that i will put on the description so that you can go there and play with clones a little bit and then come back here but what i have to do here is for each handle for the minute hour and second i'm gonna create a clone since i'm gonna repeat something create clone for three things three costumes and this let's let's change the name of this one to handle or like clock handle when I start clicked repeat three times Before repeating, I'm going to hide those handles first and then repeat three times. Go to next costume. So for each costume, including second, minute and hour, we create a clone. So just create a clone of myself. Now we are gonna use those clones to show the time. Let's say we're gonna use the let's start with showing the second. So when I start as a clone now we need to show the clone previously it was hidden so let's go to looks show and also let's make sure that it's going to the center of the clock so go to the center and some rotation pointing to the a specific time should happen forever because it's a clock right it's gonna work forever so control forever now this handle the clone of this handle that is now being shown from hidden it needs to point to a certain uh, number or a certain second certain line referring to number around the clock so I would say point to ours a direction point in direction which direction I wanted to point to that direction should be current second so from sensing you can take current second but how many degree because this thing is the degree it should rotate so for every second on the clock for every orange line we have six degrees because remember here we turn six degrees and then we stamp one orange line 
which represents a second. So I would say current second multiply six. Current second multiply six. The degree of rotation for pointing to the second. Let's see how it works now. If I click start, it's pretty much turning like it's showing the second. But something is wrong, which is other degree, other handles are also rotating, which is not what we want. So we need to differentiate them using an if condition. So let's go to if. I want to say do this only if the costume is the one which is for the second. So let's go to operator and take this. We're going to compare something. And then from looks, I would say if, I, if you go to the bottom of the looks, there is something custom number, change it to custom name and put it here. If custom name is second, only at that time do this. So now you see that it's showing the clock. I want to drag this handle to here. Okay, I should go to custom and I should go here and make sure it's here. So if you look at this thing, I'm going to zoom it. I need to put on here to now is correct. So let's do this for the other customs as well. Let's put this one here and then here on this dot on the center. Okay, the last step is we are going to write two more ifs for a second and for a minute. I recommend you to stop the video and try by yourself first. To make it easier, I'm going to duplicate this one and put it here and duplicate one more time and put it here and then I'm going to modify it. So when custom name is minute and when custom name is hour. So for a minute, I'm going to point in direction current minute multiply six also because the same orange lines are also referring to minutes as well. But for hours, we only have 12 numbers. So 360 degrees the whole circle divided by 12 numbers of the hours on the clock the blue ones is gonna be 30 degrees rotation so between this blue line and the other one is 30 degrees rotation so point in direction so if the custom name is our current hour multiply 30. So if I start, it's showing 1157, which is the same as the clock on my computer. If you look here, you see these are the same thing. It was such an interesting project with a lot of learning inside it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your friends and make sure other smart people like yourself can watch these videos and help me be seen in YouTube. And see you soon. Bye.